architecture and construction. Welcome to another edition of Built to Amaze. Some examples of great architecture and construction are as close to home as Bush Stadium in St. Louis or the Liberty Memorial in Kansas City. Others are as far away as the new Danish Radio Concert Hall in Copenhagen or the Mio Viaduct in France, the tallest and longest cable-stayed bridge in the world. Isn't that amazing? Wow, architecture and construction have given us so many important structures. Every time you go to a mall, restaurant, or house, there are architects and construction people behind it. Which is a lot safer than being on top of it. It takes all kinds of people to make these structures work. From urban planners to architects, drafters, landscape designers, project managers, carpenters and electricians, metal workers, and all the people responsible for maintaining our buildings and roadways. If you have good math and science skills, plus imagination, this could be a great career cluster for you. It has been for our next guest, a construction project manager. Here, you're going to need this. Hi, my name is Chaz J. Quest, and I am a civil engineer. I work as a project manager for a large construction management company. I want to introduce you to the architecture and construction career cluster. Careers in this cluster span a wide range of skills and trades. Each one involves some aspect of the design, construction, operation, or maintenance of the built environment. Obviously, math, science, and reading skills are important, but this industry also needs people who can work well individually as well as part of a team. Many opportunities are available for people with initiative, a good work ethic, and work habits, a good attitude, and communication skills. The great thing about this cluster is that there are many entry and exit points along the educational process for careers in this area. Engineers and architects are very much needed, but for people who are not sure where the college is for them, many good paying careers can begin with only one or two years of technical training. Then if you decide you want to get to the next level, you can pursue additional training, certifications, and degrees. If your plan includes a future in architecture and construction, you can go as far as you want to go. Hmm, I wonder who built this place. I don't know, but I wish they would use more color. Lime, maybe fuchsia. Black. <laughs> 